hello. What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Kate Purtle and currently, I am undertaking a challenge called the 75 Hard Challenge. If you don't know what that means, I'm in a whole video explaining everything. Click the link in the description box below and then come back for day 59er. Woo Woo! It's a gorgeous morning. The sun is rising, the birds are singing, are. the cows are mooing, are. the sheep are barring, Bye. and mum's farting. Excuse me, <laughs> I am not. <laughs> so as you can see, we are out bright and early going for a walk. We have a busy, busy, busy bee day today. We are... Heading in to Kootamundra to see my grandparents. It's their 60th wedding anniversary today. Then we are getting the tire fixed, which if you saw yesterday's vlog, you'll be well aware that we shredded our tire. So we have to go and get a new one before we drive to Melbourne tomorrow. So going into town, getting that done and then coming back and packing up the house, packing up all my shit into the car to drive to Melbourne tomorrow. When I walk into the kitchen, you saw the look on my face, you saw the look on my heart to get out of this place. I seen something I've never seen before. When you put on the pineapple, we couldn't be friends anymore. Pineapple pasta, put on pizza. It's a fruit and you know that. Pineapple pasta, put on pizza. What's your name? So we were up the hill, nature called, and it got to the time where my body decides that it needs to excrete some waste on cue. Same time every day. Yeah, baby. That's when you know you got some healthy bowels. Yeah, baby. Anyway, so we had to uh, hot foot it back to the house, and now we've come another way to continue the walk. To make sure that we get in the hour and a half, because as I explained before, we're going to town, etc, etc. Lots of shit to do, lots of packing to do later. So might not have time. So getting it done early. <clears throat> Ready for the day. So it is many, 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 many hours later. It's actually the evening now. And I just wanted to wrap up the vlog and share what happened today. So as you guys saw this morning, we went for a big long walk because I knew that if we didn't do that, there wouldn't be time later on. And I'm so glad that we did that because otherwise I would have been exercising or doing any form of movement in the dark tonight. So we, like I said, we went into town and we saw my grandparents. It's their 60th wedding anniversary. That was lovely. And then we had to take the car to the place, the tire place to get it, to get a new one. But 
the tires that we have on this car aren't common and particularly aren't common in country areas it's a it's kind of a city car this one so they had to get the tire in from the t the next town which is in Arroway which meant that we had to wait in town for the truck career dude to bring the tire from the town and then to get it fitted so when we thought that we'd get home at like 12 or 1 we got home at 5 o'clock anyway like I said I'm really glad that I did all of that movement this morning because we've now just had to pack up all of my stuff um, I'm taking some of my belongings from here back to Melbourne so that all of my stuff is together and so pack the car with that clean up mum's gonna come to Melbourne for like five days so just clean the house and pack up and do last minute jobs that are always last minute so I'm so 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 glad that we did that it also meant though that we weren't organized with food because we thought we'd be home by lunchtime so we if you've been following along you'll be well aware that you have to in this challenge eat to any diet of your choosing which is in alignment with your goals and so i'm trying to lose a bit of weight so i've just been eating in a calorie deficit being relatively flexible with my food and tracking my food using my fitness pal which means that in times like today i do have the liberty to be a little bit more flexible but again small country town doesn't have all of the options that you might want and so for lunch today we went to a cafe there and they had like a quinoa pumpkin salad but didn't have a protein source and their food was delivered to the place so they couldn't just like whip it up so it just meant that I had to substitute and make sure that I hit my protein and so I had to come back and have a shake and have an additional source of protein with my dinner but like I said tracking your food and following a flexible dieting approach allows you to do that and still stay on track so very proud to say that I still stayed on track despite not being entirely prepared for having to wait in town for a tire so other than that once again drank all of my water had to substitute had to actually buy water to make sure that I was gonna drink it all otherwise I would have been coming home to drink like two liters and fuck that um, so I drank all my water took my progress picture stayed on track with my food just had to make some adjustments and um, substitutions did my movement this morning which I'm stoked about and I'm gonna have to read my book tonight because again I wasn't organized with that so despite circumstances being uh, out of our control and kind of frustrating to be honest still managed to stay on track so I'm stoked with that so if you have watched this video and liked it please give it a thumbs up as it really supports my channel if you are new here make sure you hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell so that you're aware of when I upload new videos tomorrow is day 60 holy shit so there's only like 15 days left and I am very 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 excited for that so i love you thank you for watching i'm grateful for you and i'll see you in my next video